My role in the Atlas experiment is twofold. On the one hand side, I do data analysis and trying to understand, amongst other things, for example, how this Higgs mechanism is supposed to work. So the Higgs mechanism is the, well, the big splash last year was this discovery of a new particle that could be the Higgs boson that we have been looking for for many decades now. And the Higgs boson is responsible for giving each particle their mass. So far we had a beautiful theory that describes all the particles in the interaction uh, together. But uh, in this theory, uh, all the particles are massless. And then this Higgs mechanism actually allows us to give particles their mass that we observe. And the question now is, is this a real deal or is it an imposter? There are many theories out there that um, hypothesize there could be something similar to the Higgs boson that we thought we would be finding, but it, it could just look like it, but act differently. And the research that I'm doing is actually looking behind the scenes and trying to find out whether the Higgs boson is actually doing its job the reason that it was invented for, or it's doing something else. And that's one of the research lines that I'm pursuing. So how does the Higgs mechanism work? In very simple pictures, you can imagine uh, the Higgs mechanism uh, be pictured by a cocktail party. So you have lots of people scattered around the room and just chatting with one another. And um, then all of a sudden, a celebrity enters the room, like Einstein. So now, Einstein wants, as every good physicist, he has one main objective, which is to cross the room from this side to the other side because that's where the cookies are. So he wants to go as quickly as possible across the room. However, of course, people will recognize him and they want to talk to him, they want to pat him on the shoulder and say, oh, you did great, this is awesome, or oh, you did a mistake here. So that's why they want to interact with him. So in physics lingos, they want to interact or couple with him. And um, since he's very well known, most of the field or more, more of the field will want to interact with him. He has a stronger coupling, as we say in physics terms. When now I, for example, enter the room, I want to get to the cookies, nobody knows me. So I can traverse the room without any hindrance and uh, compared to Einstein, I have a lot less mass than Einstein. So he couples a lot to the field and I couple very little to the field. So that's now how particles get their mass, interacting with the Higgs field. Um, the Higgs boson itself you can picture as an excitation of the Higgs field and that you can imagine the same cocktail party, somebody starts a rumor at one corner of the room says, oh, Einstein is coming. And that, of course, will propagate through the room. People stick their heads together, and this will cluster, this cluster will move through the room just like Einstein did before, only that there's no Einstein in it. So this is now an excitation of the field, which we call the Higgs boson. All the data that we take at the Atlas experiment get distributed worldwide. And so it's a tiered system uh, called tier one, tier two, tier three, and so on, so where the data get distributed. And we only have 10 tier one systems in the world and BNL has one of them. So I'm basically sitting at the source of the data, which is very convenient if you want to data analysis as well. And we have a very strong team here uh, working on the Atlas experiment. Basically, I have expertise in every possible direction I could have any question in, and we can work together so we have a strong critical mass here to uh, accomplish what we want to accomplish in terms of analysis. As a child, I was always interested in how do things work? Um, how do they interact? How how can I take things apart and put them back together? I mean, maybe starting from Lego, right? I recognized that this was a very true statement, that this is really the thing that drives me most. I want to understand how things work. And um, to do this at the most fundamental level is to do particle physics. So this is really now the very building blocks of matter that you use to build the universe. I mean, this is like the, the Lego system if you want to build the universe.